Solving quadratics using the quadratic formula. There is a quadratic formula. It is this. You do not need to memorize it because it is on your algebra star chart or EOC chart. Um, we're going to go back and solve by factoring. And remember when there is an x squared that you can have zero solutions, one solution, or two solutions. Now, when we have been solving them, they have been um, rational numbers. But notice if you have a square, squared number, if you're solving for a squared number, you can actually get an irrational root. And the quadratic formula will solve all of them, including finding the irrational roots. So first thing you have to do, remember when you're solving any quadratic, you have to set equal to 0. So I'm going to do x squared plus 2x minus 15. Solve by factoring, which is what we've been doing. Um, this is signs are different. This is a coefficient of 1. This means the larger one, the larger sign of larger. So I have 5 and 3, so plus 5 and minus 3, and that's 5x and minus 3x, and that's the sign of the larger looking one, and so x equals x plus 5 equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, x equals negative 5, and x equals 3. And so your answers are negative 5 and 3. So these are your what's called roots or solutions. Now, here we go. If ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then you can do this. You can say the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. And if you have to round, you're always going to round to the tenth. So if I have a is 1, b is 2, c is negative 15. So it is the opposite of 1 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 15 all over 2 times 1. And I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. So I have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 4 negative 4 times 1 times negative 15 is um that's 61 so that's oops that's 60 all over 2 so that becomes let's go over here negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 64 over 2 Okay, now this is where you split it for this plus or minus. That's negative 1 plus 8 over 2 and negative 1 minus 8 over 2. Oh, opposite of B. I messed that up from the beginning. Okay, that should have been a 2. My B was a 2. It's opposite of B. Okay, so that's a 2, and that's a 2. Sorry for that mistake. So that is 6 over 2, which is 3, and that is negative 10 over 2, which is 5, which is negative 5. And so you still get the same answers that x equals 3 and negative 5. Okay. You're going to use these quadratic formulas um, if can't factor to find irrational roots, and the words roots and solutions are the same thing. 
that is page one of solving quadratics using the quadratic formula.